Hey, hey Capricorn, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your November 2023 bonus reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, welcome. This looks like a big month for finding that balance, finding that equilibrium. Wherever things have been a little bit challenging for you, career, health, relationships, I'm also getting here self-doubt. So some of you could have been doubting the decisions around a big area of your life or you were doubting your own intuition. You may have been second guessing yourself. You may have been going through a little bit of a hermit energy in the past few months, even the past few years for a lot of you Capricorns. You've been going through some heavy stuff here and this is the month where you're getting real. You're getting real with others. You're getting real with yourself about the next steps, the, the next moves to make and I feel like this is setting you up for success, not just in the near future, but for 2024 and for many years after there's some sort of stepping stone that you've been taking Capricorn and it's been a big journey to get to where you are now but this is the month where there's more flow coming in instead of so much resistance at every step of the way it feels like every step that you take it's like the the step kind of disappears from underneath you and you you wind up taking a couple steps back or it just feels like it's heavy, right? It's not built on a solid foundation, but it really is. It's part of you, your path, your destiny, and now you're moving towards bigger and better. I feel like you're finally getting past that hump of falling through the steps or the stairs on your path towards success. So you have this Aquarian energy about getting real, being real with yourself. What are your dreams? What are you putting up with in your life that's just not serving you? What is it that you are here to do? Who is it that you want to become? How can you embrace more of that energy? So with this authenticity energy showing up here for you, <clears throat> excuse me, some of you could be taking a stance and putting yourself out into the world, whether you're looking for love, whether you're building a business, whether you are applying for new jobs, I just get this energy of coming out of that hermit mode and taking action, taking inspired action. And that makes sense with your final outcome card here, which I'll share in just a moment. So I also have the Libra energy. There could have been a lot of shakeups in Libra season around the eclipse energies because that was a very heavy time where a lot of truths came out, secretive energy, uh, even some self-doubt within ourselves, rest, healing. A lot of things were shaken up because we are meant to release any karmic cycles, karmic patterns or habits that have been formed from maybe past lives, this could be generational trauma, or just some things that we've dealt with, <clears throat> excuse me, in this lifetime. But really what karma is, and karma gets such a, a bad rap, and I try to explain this as often as I can because people think that they are cursed or you know they have to be in this energy, but karma is basically the law of cause and effect. What you put out there, you're gonna get back. So it's basically, you know, a consequence from an action that you or someone else has made that you have agreed to be a part of. That is what you are breaking free from. And I feel like this is happening all across the board for each and every sign. If you've been stuck in some sort of a repetitive pattern, this is the month where you break free from it so you can find more balance. And this is all about taking the high road. And that's interesting because some of you, you're rising above, rising above the fray. You're rising above the obstacle. You are ascending your energy to be able to view things in a, in a higher way. And because you've gone through the growth, this enables your soul to, to free itself basically, or it en enables yourself to get out of maybe a 3D pattern or something here in the physical where you've been going round and round and round. 
Capricorn, we have Gemini energy. So look at this. You have Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, all air elements. And the air elements are mental thoughts, swords. It's about communication. It's about obstacles, finding solutions. It's about making decisions. It's about your intellect and using your power in the correct form. Because some of you, <clears throat> you may have not, Maybe you weren't quite sure how to use your power constructively because you've been through pain or trauma. And sometimes we can tend to misuse our power through the form of, you know, manipulation or staying in cycles that we're ready to break. Or maybe people around you have misused their power. And that's something you are being called to shed light on in this lifetime. So if you find yourself in situations or circumstances that are filled with drama know that it is part of your destiny to reflect maybe karma in other people maybe it's about breaking those patterns about breaking those cycles and embracing the flow of life right rising above the fray in a sense so i do feel here with this air energy showing up this is about you choosing logic some of you are using the month of November to drop into the heart center more because you may be a very, you know, logical person. Capricorn, you are, you know, very earthly. You're pinnacle. You're all about this, this human uh, life. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're all about, you know, the coin and the home and the family. And possibly for some of you, it is about material success. I mean, we all need certain things to live in this realm. But for you, there's been an emphasis here on achievement. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there's something with the throat happening here. So for some of you, it's speaking up, speaking out. Maybe you've held yourself back. That's part of your purpose here is to speak up. As soon as I'm talking about this, look at that. The throat is starting to clear. So a very important message here, Capricorn. You are being guided to speak up, speak the truth, speak for what, what you believe in. This is something that maybe you've held back on. Maybe it was part of your, your karma, your destiny, your soul's evolution to share your story, to find balance, to bring balance to the lives of others. But your final outcome energy here is Leo. It's go wild. This is powerful. Look at that. You see here that this lion, he has his mouth open. He is roaring, right? There is a, a fierceness within him of, you know, desire and passion and drive and power and authenticity and truth. It all is coming bubbling up within you this month. And so you may feel a huge wave of inspiration to move in a new direction in your life. This is big energy here. Some of you are maybe communicating to others, maybe in a different way than you ever have before. And you may turn some heads. You may take someone by surprise. They're saying, whoa, Capricorn, what's happening here? Normally you don't talk that way or you don't, you know, it's almost like you demand respect, but not in a, not in a misuse of power way, but in a, I am worthy of respect, listen to me type of way. Okay. So again, you are setting healthy boundaries for yourself. You are being heard. There's something here with your worth, your value, uh, being seen, starting something new, taking something all the way. I mean, Capricorn, you are your own biggest cheerleader this month. Even though there may be people around you supporting you, helping you, uh, your higher self is cheering you on and you feel it. You feel that momentum. You feel that energy. All right, let's take a look and clarify. Let's go a step deeper here. What do we need to get real about? Our wishes, our dreams. You have the nine of cups showing up here. The Nine of Cups is about feeling good with where you are at. It's emotional fulfillment. And you see, that's what we're lacking here is water energy. But now that we have entered Scorpio season, Scorpio is water. And so this is the month where you are getting clear on your dreams. You're removing any blocks, any limiting beliefs, any relationships or situations that stimmy your success for growth that block you from achieving your wish fulfillment here. This is all about happiness, success, 
completion. Nines uh, bring, bring completion. And I feel like you've completed a very important cycle of your life. It wouldn't surprise me to see the wheel of fortune for others of you. I, I'm getting judgment day. So we could see that judgment card as well. But this is about a second chance here. You're, you're going through and you've been going through a spiritual awakening. All of us have on, on a level, on a collective level, have been waking up more to our truth, to our power, to our, you know, why we're here. And we're making big changes that align with purpose and intention instead of being held back by attachments. So you're getting real about your dreams and you're taking action steps. At least I feel you are intuitively. So let's see some action cards because I feel like it would really benefit to see a knight, to see a chariot, maybe even eight of wands. Woo, okay. How would you like? Thank you. Okay, that's for the future here or the other. Oh, there's the emperor. I mean, you can't get a better action card than the emperor. He steps into his power. So what's happening here with this page of pentacles is you have this opportunity to manifest financial, uh, physical. This could be a move, a, a actual move for others of you you may be moving location but the page is going to represent some sort of uh, manifestation here in the physical form the physical realm the earthly plane and it's going to help you feel more empowered right you're taking action on it i should have mentioned the emperor because that's the top action card there is i love it so it's like you oh there's a message in that one second oh okay the message in this is you have more power than you think. What did I just say? I said the knights, you know, the eight of wands, the chariot, which is great energy about movement, but you have the ability not just to move Capricorn, but be at the top of your game. Be at the top of your game after a lot of setbacks because you're being real. You've always been real in a sense, right? You've always done what you feel is part of your, your purpose. You've always kind of veered towards that path of success and achievement. And now you're seeing that your wishes are starting to take shape. They're starting to manifest. And you are feeling empowered here to open the doors to new opportunities. This is beautiful. Capricorn, I must say, at least so far, this is one of the best readings, and I know it hasn't been an easy road for a lot of you Capricorns, but the wheel is spinning here. Things are turning in your favor. Now, we have this Libra energy about finding balance. So let's take a look and see what we need to do, what we need to maybe work through at this time in order to help bring more balance into your life. Ten of Wands. The Hierophant. There's that Judgment card and the Seven of Cups. Focus. Allow yourself a second chance here. Take a look at some of those beliefs. Take a look at some of those uh, maybe institutions. This could be teaching, going back to school. For some of you, it is about establishments, governing agencies, community, soul tribe, but also breaking free from any of that conditioning that doesn't serve you because there could be some heavy burdens. Maybe you feel like you have to commit to a certain thing. Or maybe you've always thought that you had to be on this path, but that's not true for you, Capricorn. That's not true for you at all. The judgment is saying there's a wake up call here. When the, the trumpet horn blows, you hear it. That is your calling. And you're being called here to free yourself from some sort of burden that you've been carrying. I feel for a long time for some of you Capricorns. It could be for 10 years. For a lot of you, this is many different things, okay? Because we see here the flowers, they're accumulating. They're building upon, building upon. And look at that. She's picking one more. But the beautiful thing is there's growth, right? Because flowers represent growth, right? We pick them. But then sometimes when we pick them, uh, they die. But they, they stay in that energy of, you know, death, of stagnancy sometimes when we need to release. And that's what I see here for you. The Ten of Wands is taking on a lot. It can be needing to release, needing to prioritize, needing to eliminate, needing to delegate. It can be hiring people as well, maybe hiring a nanny, hiring a cleaner, hiring, you know, a professional that can help you in any area of your life to take off 
some of the heavy burdens. I also get that some of you are caregivers, maybe for little people, maybe for adults, aging adults. Maybe that's your profession, okay? Uh, there could be some shifts that you make because you may feel mentally, uh, physically even, like you can't take on any more and you're releasing something here, okay? That's why you're finding balance. Uh, some of you may also have built within your energy from a very early age, maybe you feel like you have to fix everyone, especially if you're a healer. You may feel like you are destined to be in a person's life, to fix them, to heal them, to show them the light, to show them the way. And in a way, yes, that's true. However, you do not have to take on other people's stuff to finish and complete the task at hand. Because so many times we take on other people's stuff and we let them push and pull, cross our boundaries, disrespect us, abuse us emotionally, physically, mentally, right? We let them. But like I said earlier, part of your gift is to shed light on maybe other people's flaws, difficulties, or imperfections for them to be able to see that and heal that within themselves. But what happens here sometimes is we take on their stuff, unbeknowingst to us at times. The Hierophant is saying there's a new way to do things. Maybe that's who you were in the past, but that doesn't have to be who you are in the present and into the future. You can release these things because here that trumpet is calling. And seven of cups in reverse says it's time to focus. It's time to make a choice, make a decision because you're feeling too overwhelmed with so much going on, so much heavy burdens here. Do pay attention to your back. If there's any moving and any heavy lifting, I'm getting here a gate belt. So maybe some of you, uh, you lift people on a, a day, you know, daily. Maybe it's uh, you work as maybe a nurse or a CNA or you have to lift people. Uh, please look into that. I don't want anyone hurting themselves. Uh, maybe your back has had issues. Uh, some of you, this is paying attention to your posture. And I talked about this a few months back. Really recognize, notice your posture more this month. If you tend to slump over or if you tend to, you know, look down while you're walking or interacting because posture can really give you some insight into what needs to shift as well. So yoga could be really beneficial. Maybe seeing a chiropractor, getting energy, energy work done, massage work, anything like that can uh, help your, your body on an energetic level. So let's take a look and see how we can embrace, I feel like this is part of embracing the flow, is letting go of the Ten of Wands because you're entering into a new cycle, right? There's a completion here for you to head towards your wish fulfillment. Let's take a look at your outcome. What is it that you are going wild on? What is it that you are speaking up? And I love this. The throat chakra, as soon as we said that, as soon as you know, we talked about you speaking up, saying yes, pulling the trigger on a situation, moving forward, making a decision, no more throat chakra. So that's what you need to do here to, to embrace more flow. But let's clarify the outcome. Go wild with this Leo energy. Some of you may have strong Leo placements in your chart. What do we need to do to embrace this Leo energy, please, for Capricorn? Thank you. King of Wands. Beautiful. The Tower in reverse. We need to let go of what we're hanging on to. And the Lovers. We need to let our heart guide us. It doesn't mean that you're not using your brain, not using your logical mind. But like we said, there's too much air in your reading here. There's a lot of logic, a lot of, you know, rational energy here. We need to drop down to the heart. What, what do we really want to do? What makes our heart happy? What brings in that joy and that fulfillment? Let something crumble. Let something fall. Don't hang on to it. You don't need to hang on to it any longer. Okay, because now you're being left with just some ashes, just some ashes, but you are the phoenix, Capricorn. You can rise above bigger and better and stronger and more determined than anything that came crumbling down here because you have the power. I mean, dang, you're the king of wands here with the lovers. If this is a relationship, let something crumble in order for you to attract 
the love that you truly seek, that you want on all different levels, a love for what you do, a love for family, a love for friends, and most importantly, a self-love, a love that you and only you can give to yourself, right? The King of Wands energy is about you taking charge of your destiny. This is about passion and being driven and being that leader and that influencer and that speaker and being adventurous and warm because that's who you are, Capricorn. You are a beautiful, unique, handsome, powerful individual, female or male, it does not matter here, but let something come crumbling down to allow you to fulfill your heart's destiny here and step into your power even more so. Because like I said, with that emperor, you're more powerful than you think. A lot of you are business owners. Uh, you may be entrepreneurs. You could be, I mean, Leader doesn't mean that you have to be in the lead. And I, I try to explain this because I've had people comment uh, before saying, Melissa, I don't want to be a leader. Sometimes it just means we're taking destiny into our own hands, right? Or we are following our true north in our lives. You can work at, you know, as a grocery store beggar. It doesn't matter if that's part of your soul's destiny and you are living your truth and that's what you're doing. That's you leading. Right? That is you standing in your power. And that's what I see coming out of this go wild. Reverse of tower is revelations that offer you freedom to open your heart up to the max potential of that unconditional love for you to chase your destiny and follow your dreams in a big way. Beautiful. All right, last but not least here, Capricorn, we're going to pull a message here from Whispers of a Horse's Heart. For those of you that were able to catch the weekend's collective reading, this deck was used. It's so beautiful. I love the messages. So we're just going to do a little exercise here where I have you tune into the energy of the card, energy of the horse here. So take a nice deep breath in, nice deep breath, Capricorn, from the solar plexus chakra. Hold it for as long as you can and release through the mouth. <sighs> and I want you to focus on this horse, the illustration and the energy that it gives off for you. What does this mean? Really tune into your intuition here. What are the first feelings, thoughts, words, messages, colors? What shows up in your mind's eye? I would love for you to drop it in the comment section box below. I'll enter you into the free reading giveaway. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and really tune in to the energy here of this horse. What do you see? All right. And the message here, I'm going to have to turn it to read it here, but the message is all about communication. Lo and behold, the throat chakra, right? So communication. Cherish. The divine moments of communication as they are flowing to you at this time. See the sweetness of the sharing occurring in your life. Sparks of interest and truth surround you on your path and are enlightening. Yes, there's that judgment. Be true to yourself, Capricorn, and support your own opinions, holding strongly to what you believe. Others may try to persuade you to follow their viewpoints. There's the Hierophant. Others may try to persuade you to follow their viewpoints or agree with their values. Relax into your own values and take pleasure in singing out your own tune. Your feelings show through all that you are presenting. Your vibrations and energy remain in alignment and they can intoxicate your listeners. Enjoy the exchange as the communication showcases your gifts and unique self. And we talk about your gifts, literally, we talked about your power. We have your unique gifts with the Be Real card here. So this is all about communication, authenticity, soul tribe, speaking up and not letting other people, other societal factors or family make the decisions that are in you know your highest good only you know what that is for you so trust in yourself you have the ability to trust to be seen to be heard if you are a speaker of any sort if you are an influencer if you use your voice or even if you don't because like we said you're more powerful than you think you are here with the emperor this is the perfect month to, to speak your truth, to proclaim your truth. 
and uh, communicate with others as well. The first thing I noticed here was the birds. And some of you may have noticed the birds as well. The birds is that, you know, air, feathery energy here. So yes, there's going to be communication, possibly messages coming in here. There could be some movement happening, getting something off the ground. But I'm also noticing the friendly energy between, you know, the horse and the birds. And you can see that they're really close. They're almost touching nose to nose here. So there could be an important conversation where you get to the truth of a situation. You're able to express and be seen and be heard without intimidating, without, you know, scaring someone off here. Even if you are the bigger one, a lot of you, if you're in a leadership position, you're a damn good leader. You are a great leader, okay? And you inspire others. You are meant for this role. Whatever this is for you, trust that you'll know what that is. But this is the month where you really find that balance and go wild. That is what I have for you, Capricorn. Lots and lots of beautiful messages. If it resonates, please hit that thumbs up button. Share, like, subscribe, comment below what your first impression here was of that illustration, that horse. I will enter you into the free reading giveaway. Thank you so very much for spending your precious time and energy here with me today. Lots of love, Capricorn.